What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We are going to be going over some Thrive stuff. Oh, this is Jen. This is my friend, by the way. Hi! <laughs> uh, we're going to be going over the different things in the different uh, the vitamins and whatnot in Thrive. And just tell you kind of like what it'll do to your body, like how it'll help, and why you should try it. <laughs> so the first thing on here we're going to go over is the... The women's capsules for your step one of Thrive, it has, see there's vitamin A, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, folic acid, which I found out is also a B vitamin, I think it's B7 or something like that, um, vitamin B12, D3, chromium, selenium, and vanadium. Vanadium, vanadium, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> <laughs> so the first one we're going to talk about is the vitamin A. A lot of people have heard, you know, carrots have vitamin A, it helps your eyesight and stuff, which is totally true. Um, I We did a little research here and on, what website was that? WebMD and the Mayo Clinic, they both say that vitamin A is good for your eye health and where was it? Oh, it also protects your cells from being attacked by the different radicals, the, the bad stuff in your body and stuff. It, it helps protect them more. This is definitely a learning <laughs> process for me because I didn't know, I mean, I've looked at the ingredients before but I've never like broken them down before. So this is interesting. Yeah, I thought that a lot of people would enjoy this. Because most people are like, well, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's going to do to my body. Yeah. And so I thought, this will probably help them. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Probably a lot like me. I'm like, okay, vitamin A, vitamin, 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 vitamin. Vitamins. But I don't really think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not really like, wow, vitamin A. We're already I'm doing great. I'm doing stuff for my <laughs> eyes. Cool. Yeah, vitamin A, it helps the um, your retina to form that protective layer and strengthen so that you can see colors better and you can see just like in general better. Nice. And That's then, crazy. So the next one we go to is vitamin B1 and its common name is thiamine. And let's see, according to healthline.com, it says that it helps your metabolism, it, it converts your nutrients that you intake into energy, so that you're not just sitting there on like your carbs and stuff, because carbs do convert to energy. This will help them convert. And uh, most of the time people can get them from like pork or seeds or something like that, but let's be honest. <laughs> We yeah. don't have healthy diets. <laughs> <laughs> not on a daily, that's for sure. No, definitely not. And then we've got vitamin B2, which is riboflavin. It also helps to convert your energy or your carbs and stuff like that into energy for you to use throughout the day. Um, according to this, it also acts as an antioxidant so that could explain why since I started taking Thrive, I haven't had very many joint problems because the the, the B2 actually helps loosen them. <laughs> Let's see, B3. Ooh, now this is a big name, guys. N niacinamide? I don't know. Vitamin B3. <laughs> this just says niacin. Oh, niacin, see? <laughs> it. That's much easier to say. <laughs> And as we know, niacin, I don't know, as I know, niacin helps to, like, flush the bad stuff out of your body. It helps detox you a lot. Um, you can actually get just niacin tablets that you can take that'll detox your whole body in, like, a quick minute. Like, mm -hmm. 12 hours later, you're peeing clear. <laughs> like, it, I've done it once, never do it again, I'll stick to this. <laughs> um, let's I'll trust see. you on that one. I'll stick yeah. to this, too. <laughs> one moment, guys. Children. Oh, she needs a diaper changed. She good. Five minutes? Did she go? No. Never. No. Okay, then she's good. <laughs> Mom, like. Yeah. <laughs> My eight year old for you. Okay, let's see. Where were we? Vitamin B5 is our next one. And. 
Oh man. Ooh, Ooh. that's a good one too. Yeah, and it's not any easier to pronounce. <laughs> Pan pantothenic acid? Not sure. Let's see. Um, like all the other B vitamins and stuff, it gives you, it helps convert your stuff into energy so that, you know, B vitamins pretty much equal energy conversion is what it really comes down to. But this one, it also helps with your um, hormone control, your production of hormones throughout your body. And it also helps control your cholesterol so that you don't get buildup. <laughs> Vitamin B6, pyridox, yeah. pyridoxine? Yeah, you did good. That works. We'll go with that one. B6. B6. Call it B6. Yep. <laughs> I have heard of this one a lot. I have too. I was told that this one will help with like hangovers actually. Really? Yeah. Um, a new hangover cure. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this says that it is from an amino acid metabolism. So I'm assuming that has to do with your, your energy level again. And it also helps your body to create healthy red blood cells, which helps oxygenate your body and keep everything just healthy and running properly. Um, let's see, what else does it say here? Oh, well that's interesting, I didn't know that. Apparently, it also helps to create neurotransmitters in your brain mm -hmm. to help your, your chemical signals get to where they need to be in the proper fashion. So that's, that's really cool. I did not know that. I wonder if that's why it's easier to concentrate. Absolutely. That's what I was just thinking, too. Yeah. I'm like, this is crazy because I never in a million years would have thought that vitamins would, like, literally make me a... I don't want to say a smarter person, <laughs> but the simplest way to put it, I feel like, is, like, sm like more focus and, like, right. me remembering things better and just, like, yeah, like, that's, that's crazy. Q actually had a good uh, terminology for that, uh, mental clarity. Yeah. That's yes. what she called it yesterday. Mental Absolutely. clarity. That is exactly what this does, 100%. I guess. <laughs> Proof. Yes. Okay, the next one is folic acid. Uh... Oh yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, it's also a, a B vitamin, a form of B vitamin, uh, B nine, and it also helps in the formation of your red blood cells and to carry oxygen throughout your entire body. So, and oxygen also helps your muscles stay, um, good to go, like ready to go. They don't feel so tired if you don't have like. What was it? I always refer back to the Magic School Bus episode where they're they're in the Olympics and they're happy helping the oxygen get to the leg muscles of the Olympian so that he can keep going. <laughs> I love magic. <laughs> That's what I always think about when it comes to that. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else does it say here? Healthy cell growth and function. So that is another thing that is it just helps your body run properly. Uh, you don't have your, what is it that they have the, the lagging cells or whatever it is, uh, I don't remember the terminology from school. <laughs> oh yeah, for, yeah, for yeah, in science like, in school, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember the name of it now. Um, oh, and that's another thing also that I recognized folic acid from is when I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. The first trimester of your pregnancy, you're supposed to have like a really good amount of folic acid. Yeah. Because it helps the brain develop properly and all the organs and the cells of the baby develop properly. And so that brings me to another thing. Thriving while pregnant, there's a lot of women who do it and it helps them immensely, if I can say it properly. Yeah. Uh, we do recommend always checking with your doctor, of course, yes. but I mean, I fully am prepared to thrive through, like we plan on having another mm -hmm. baby and I'm like fully prepared to thrive through my pregnancy instead of taking prenatals. Right. Cause you right. don't have to take prenatals when you're taking. Thrive. Exactly. Yeah. This gives you everything that your prenatal would give you. Plus I believe it gives you a little bit extra if you take like both capsules as compared to one. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. so I mean, always talk to your doctor before trying anything, especially if you're pregnant or breastfeeding yeah. or anything like that. 
but we have yet to hear of a pregnant woman having bad side effects from it. So it's always an option. Um, our next one is vitamin B12. That, I believe, I would say that's probably the most common B vitamin that we've heard of because that's what everyone tells us, mm -hmm. like, the main energy boost. Yeah. It's the B12. On this, um, it says that B12 is good for neurological function. So there we go again with the, the mental clarity. Mm -hmm. The B12 is helping with our mental clarity again. Uh, DNA production, that... That's interesting. I didn't that know we could... Maybe, like, stronger DNA? Right? Maybe... I don't know. That's something interesting we might look into more later. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the red blood cell development. Uh, the B vitamins are great for your red blood cells and oxygenating your body. Uh, let's see. Our next one I had never heard of is vitamin D3. I didn't know that there were different vitamin D's, I thought it was just all the same. Apparently there's different ones, of course. Um, let's see, so for vitamin D3, it helps your body to absorb calcium better so that you have stronger bones and um, you don't have breaks as bad. <laughs> Maybe a small fracture, but it could have been a broken bone type thing. Uh, it also helps your body absorb Phosphorus? I honestly don't know what phosphorus really <laughs> does. For I've your heard body. of it before. Yeah, I've heard it's. It, I mean, it's healthy to have, but I'm not sure why. That would be something else we gotta look into, I guess. <laughs> um, now, something interesting about vitamin D that I did find was that apparently it can be used to help um, treat illnesses and stuff. Like it, it kind of boosts your immune, immune system, I'm guessing. Uh, apparently, two days ago, there was an article released in the Street Journal that says that there are studies going on to see how effective vitamin D3 is to not necessarily preventing, but lessening the effects mm -hmm. of COVID. And so that would be really, really awesome to get this study done and find out the results for it, because... If it's as simple as just t being healthy and taking your vitamins to not be as sick or hospitalized from this illness, shoot, I will do it every single day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was really cool. Uh, what was that? Ooh, which one? This one? Oh. Uh... Oh, and that was another thing. Vitamin D is normally made by your skin. So, like, going out and getting sun exposure, I think in my nutrition class they said 15 minutes to a half an hour of direct sun exposure or mm -hmm. sunlight exposure mm -hmm. um, will help your body produce the proper amount of vitamin D that you need for the day. I mean, I can't say that I get direct sunlight every day for most, 30 minutes. Like well, it. most people, when they go in the sun, they put sunscreen. Mm -hmm. The sunscreen stops the vitamin D from being produced. Yeah, this even says protective clothing. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's pr uh, age, all sorts of things here. Dark skin, limited oh. exposure to light. That's really interesting. Yeah. I probably don't get as much <laughs> vitamin D as I should. I, I mean, I take Thrive, so. Right. I was say with before. I do things, now. <laughs> I didn't get even close to the right amount of anything. Me I neither. <laughs> Me neither. I, I thought vitamins were like. Something that, like, didn't oh. matter or didn't work, I, thought, I guess. I thought of vitamins as, like, kid stuff. You take the vitamins to grow properly, but once you're done growing, they're Why are they being. really important? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was wrong. <laughs> so the next one is chromium. And this was a new one for me. I had never heard of this. So it was pretty interesting reading about it. Um, it says that... You can use chromium to combat diabetes uh, symptoms, high cholesterol, hormone disorders, which I thought was amazing because I have a hormone disorder. And so, That's huge. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, well, that explains why I haven't been so crazy. <laughs> <You know? laughs> My hormones are normal again. <laughs> and then, um, 
Let's see, there's also some studies going on to see, like, the effects of chromium on diabetes itself, like, to see how blood sugar levels are affected by it, mm -hmm. and so far they don't have enough studies to, stay, to say, you know, for sure this is what it does, but some of the studies have shown that it helps lower your fasting blood sugar levels for people with diabetes too, and that's pretty cool because if you're taking the chromium and your blood sugar levels aren't skyrocketing, mm -hmm. you won't need as much of your diabetes medication. Mm -hmm. And so it all goes back to that proper diet, nutrition, and all of that. It takes you to a healthy spot. No medications needed or little medications needed. Let's see. Our next one is going to be selenium. This one I have heard of, but I didn't really know anything about it. Um, it is a mineral. Most of the time it's found in the soils that the, the plants will absorb it into their, their fruits or veggie, whatever. And that's how you usually get it. And it helps your metabolism level to be more constant, not so up and down and fluctuate so hard. And it says uh, on here that you only need a small amount of it. And so in the package here you get in both of the capsules together is 90 micrograms. So that is a, a really, really small amount. It's not even like nutritional values and stuff. I don't even think I've heard of micrograms. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're literally like Micro. teeny, teeny, tiny amounts. <laughs> and so if you only take one of these capsules, you're getting 45 micrograms. And I read in the article there that you can you can overdose on, you know, things, obviously. Mm -hmm. Selenium being a mineral, you, it's possible to overdose because mm -hmm. it stores in your body. It's like a, a heavy, heavy mineral. Is what it's called. Okay. And, but in order for you to overdose, you have to take 400 micrograms. Okay. So you would have to take literally like eight, eight, or, eight or nine capsules oh, wow. to yeah. overdose. So don't be, don't don't be do that. scared of the 90 <laughs> micrograms on here. It's not a lot, I promise. They're tiny amounts. <laughs> Let's see, what else does selenium do here? Um, Antioxidant properties. There we go. Yeah, so that could, that helps, uh, let's see, protects the cells from damage. So, like, I'm not really sure what would damage the cells. I guess pretty much anything that you ingest into your body that's not good would damage your cells in one way or another. Uh, I don't know if we're really allowed oh. to. Oh. But that attacks the cells. I mean, yeah, like cancer and stuff. Um, on here it shows that it reduces your odds of getting colon cancer. Which, I mean, we can't say it definitely does. They even said it. Studies suggest, mm. you know, nothing's been confirmed, obviously. It's hard to confirm anything with medications nowadays. But um, it also says that it does not how okay so it helps with the, the the prostate cancer colon cancer whatever but it does say that there was doesn't seem to be any kind of effect on lung cancers and so maybe it's like digestive mm -hmm. type things because it's going through your digestive tract that's what i would think of um Some, now, one downside it does say is that if you take large amounts of selenium, like I said, to overdose you need 400 milligrams. This gives you 90 in both capsules together. Um, but if you take large doses of it, it can increase your risk of non-melanoma non skin cancer. And so, I mean, don't overdo it. Yeah. yeah. The same with everything, anything in life. Do not overdo it. Do as directed only. Mm-hmm. So our last ingredient on here is ven vanadium, vanadium. Never heard of this one either. Yeah, I had never heard of this one. Um, it's also a mineral. Um, oh, that's a cute little fun fact. That it's named cute. after a Norse god of beauty. <laughs> so maybe it helps us be beautiful. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. It's been used in people who are pre-diabetic or are diagnosed with diabetes. It helps kind of like 
control your blood sugar levels a little bit, I guess. But it also does state in this article that there are no good scientific <laughs> studies to prove this. So more studies to come, mm -hmm. almost guaranteed. Um, it can act as insulin. So, for example, if you... Sorry, my cat's bumping the thing. <laughs> For example, if you have to take the, the daily insulin shots or however often the insulin shots that you have to do, this could help it so that maybe, like working with your doctor obviously, you would have to take less insulin maybe? I'm not, like I said, the studies are to come on this one. This mm -hmm. is an uh, ongoing development thing. But yeah, and so all of these ingredients working together just step one, mind you. This is only step one. Yeah. There are more vitamins and nutrients and everything in steps two and three also. And so just step one, that's a lot of help. That's a lot. For your health in, in general. Like, it definitely makes sense why with us taking it, we focus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have energy to get through the day. Mm -hmm. and apparently hormone control, that, that was a new one. I did not realize True. Yeah, that is a new one. affect your hormones at all. That's probably, honestly, for me, where the mood, because I would say, like, one of my top things with this product is mood. The fact that I'm just, like, happier all the way around. Yeah. Like, happier, like, I remember, like, being when I was, like, younger. Like, just this euphoric <laughs> happiness. Yeah, that you just kind of, like, it goes away because, like, adulting... Yeah, oh you know, God, adult <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's probably a huge thing with my yeah. mood. That's probably what it is. Cause I'm like, well, what is it like, how is it a mood stabilizer? And I know like, I mean, like you said in the other steps, there's like one of the patches that have like serotonin, which yeah. obviously is mood. Mm -hmm. Um, but I didn't know that there was like yeah, the, the vitamins, yeah. yeah, I had no That's idea that it affected so much of our, just everything. Our I bodies. feel so healthy right now. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, okay, so I've only been on it for three weeks. You've been on it way longer now. Almost seven months. Yeah, and so if I feel this great this early on, I can't wait to get to her point. <laughs> because every day is just better. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's amazing. I love it. And I wish that we could all say, we get all this from our daily diet. Oh, yeah. No. There's no way. No. Like, even eating a proper diet at the proper uh, portions and all that stuff, you're still not getting it because our soils that our food is grown in doesn't contain the stuff that it needs. It, it Or it's doused in pesticides and processed mm -hmm. and, you mm -hmm. know, back in the day it may have been easier but not anymore. Nowadays, it's it's silly to think thoughts. that your diet is good enough. Yeah. Like, it, it's just naive, I guess. But this stuff helps a lot. Uh, yeah. There's um, some other, like, the propri pro proprietary <laughs> blend of, of ingredients and stuff is just like the the non-active ingredients pretty much like the fillers such as you know there's a b lactis hmm. Hmm. makes me think of uh the chemical that makes you lactate when you're pregnant i don't remember the name of that one okay so it's funny that you say that because i swear so i exclusively breastfeed still my mm -hmm. daughter's almost well, she just turned one in August, so, um, and I exclusively breastfeed, and so, of course, one of my, like, biggest concerns before starting this product was that, like, I right. was like, okay, well, for one, it's super important to me to exclusively breastfeed, and I'm not going to risk anything that decreases right. my supply, like, it's so hard for women to do that just in general, like, it's, yeah. it's a scary, like, I could literally do the smallest diet change and not, you know, anymore, yep. so I was definitely scared, and I, like, I swear, whatever it is, I'm, I'm sure a couple things play a part in it, but since taking the product, like, my production went up. Nice. Of course, my water intake went up, too, which was, like, is something right, I've always right. struggled with. I've never really been able to keep up with water intake, so that went up, so that was good, too, but 
I will say, like, I feel like my production has gone up nice. since taking this. It's great. Nice. And that's another thing, too, is once you, when you're taking Thrive, you, so before Thrive, I would, you know, I'd be thirsty, obviously. I would drink water here mm-hmm. and there. But once I started taking Thrive, like, my body would, it craves water. Mm-hmm. Like, that water intake has definitely skyrocketed, and that by itself will help your skin. Yeah. It'll help your digestion. It'll help just about anything having Everything. more water. Yes. And so that, on top of all the vitamins and the good stuff that we're putting in our bodies with the Thrive, like, it's no wonder that we feel great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it really exactly. isn't. <laughs> but yeah, and so if you guys uh, are interested in this product as a whole, we will be doing two, three more videos. Three more videos on it. Make like a little mini series. Uh, we'll go over step two, step three, and then the third video will be reasons why people have not liked Thrive, issues that they've had, and possible ways that they could have overcome those issues to keep thriving, keep giving their body the good stuff. Because mm-hmm. it's always usually like something small, like you're, you're taking two capsules instead of one so you get mm-hmm. jittery type thing, you know? Mm-hmm. So there's always a way, always a way. But yeah, so that's it for us today. And I hope you guys enjoyed and like subscribe and all that fun stuff all right guys have fun thank you peace